After years of planning and construction, one of the most anticipated projects in the Washington region is about to be completed. Phase one of Metro's new Silver Line is set to open in 2014. The 11.4-mile segment includes five new stations in Northern Virginia, McLean, Tyson's Corner, Greensboro, Spring Hill, and Wheelie Reston East. In addition to new stops, Silver Line service will also provide a transfer-free ride for commuters and leisure travelers from Reston and Tyson's through downtown Washington to Largo, Maryland. Serving many of the region's great destinations, the Silver Line will deliver Redskins fans to FedEx Field in Prince George's County, and Silver Line riders are steps away from sporting events for the Nationals, the Capitals, and nationally known cultural attractions in the downtown core. Along the way, the Silver Line provides a great way to explore neighborhoods and urban villages without the hassle of traffic or inconvenience of parking. Just steps from Silver Line stations, riders can check out what's hot at Artisphere in Roslyn, what's new at 58 restaurants just five blocks from Ballston, and what's cool about the nightlife in Clarendon. Coupled with integrated bus service, the Silver Line will provide frequent, reliable transit service for work and for pleasure. The new tracks branch off from the existing Orange Line between East Falls Church and West Falls Church. The first new station, McLean, is about eight minutes away from East Falls Church and is the first of a cluster of four Tyson's area stations that are each two minutes apart. Most of Tyson's Corner will be within an easy half-mile walk of a Silver Line station. It's the region's second largest employment center and includes shopping malls, restaurants, and nearly 100,000 jobs. The westernmost station is another eight minutes west of the Tyson's area. Each new station serves as a gateway to destinations and jobs alike. Moving east to west, the McLean Station is located adjacent to Route 123 near the Dulles Toll Road. The new station is two miles from central McLean, and large employers including Capital One and Mitre are also nearby. The new Tyson's Corner Station provides convenient access to two of the region's major shopping destinations, Tyson's Corner Center and Tyson's Galleria. The station is located on Route 123 on the same side as Tyson's Galleria and across the street from Tyson's Corner Center. PricewaterhouseCooper, Towers Crescent Plaza, and Hilton Headquarters are also within walking distance. The new Greensboro Station is located in the median of Leesburg Pike and is the closest station to the original Tyson's Crossroads, the intersection of Route 7 and 123. Greensboro Park is a large business and office park adjacent to the station. About a mile north of Greensboro is the existing West Park Transit Center. The Spring Hill Station is located above the median of Leesburg Pike between Spring Hill Road and Tycho Road along Route 7. A new mixed-use development is planned along Spring Hill Road adjacent to the station area. Tyson's largest residential community is nearby, as well as hotels and shopping plazas. The Wheelie Reston East Station serves as the gateway to Reston, a planned transit-oriented community of over 60,000 with a world-class employment center at Reston Town Center located about two miles away. Wheelie Reston East will also provide connections for bus service to Dulles International Airport. Traveling in the direction of the district and Maryland, Silver Line trains will join the existing Orange Line and serve all stations along the way, just like Orange and Blue Line trains. With the addition of the Silver Line, riders along the core of the system from Roslyn to Stadium Armory will enjoy more frequent service outside rush hours. New Metro maps have been redesigned to show the Silver Line in addition to existing lines through downtown D.C. all the way to Largo Town Center. Silver Line trains will have the same hours and service levels as most existing Metro Rail lines. Rail service begins around 5 a.m. on weekdays and 7 a.m. on weekends. Trains continue to run until midnight most nights except Friday and Saturday when trains continue to run until 3 a.m. During morning and evening rush hour, trains will arrive every six minutes. During off-peak times and on weekends, trains will arrive every 12 to 15 minutes, the same as other lines. Silver Line fares will work as they do on the existing system, based on distance traveled and peak versus non-peak travel times. Metro expects the line to attract some 25,000 riders per day in the first few years. Some will be customers switching from the Orange Line to Silver Line because it's more convenient for them, but thousands more are expected to take advantage of the new rail transit options in the years to come. For more information on Metro's new Silver Line, including detailed service and destination maps, visit silverlinemetro.com.